Use Bindo to manage your inventory, suppliers, and create purchase orders. When you start using Bindo, we can import suppliers and inventory for you, but you are also able to enter the information manually. To add a supplier, navigate to the Suppliers tab, click on the plus icon, and enter information for the supplier. Add a supplier name, phone number, point of contact, and other business information, as well as any notes you'd like to include on the company. Click Save and the supplier will be added to your list. To add a single product, navigate to the Inventory tab, click on the plus sign, and scan or enter a UPC. Bindo automatically retrieves basic product information, including a photo. Add other information, including quantity on hand, supplier, price, and cost. You also have the option to add a reorder trigger point and reorder quantity. There are various options around adding products. Let's say there's a t-shirt that comes in multiple sizes. To add this product, click on the ellipsis at the top right and select Create Matrix. Enter an attribute like size and enter a value for each variation. Hit Return after entering a variation. When you're done, select Next and you'll be given an option to enter SKU-specific information. After entering the relevant data, click Done to complete the matrix creation. You also have the option to create variable pricing around your products. Let's say that you offer customers who buy t-shirts a premium bedazzling service for an extra $5. To set this up, click on the item's price and choose Fixed Pricing. Add a regular price for the item, Add a premium price, and then save. Now, when you're ringing up a customer, you can toggle between the two prices depending on what the customer chooses. You can manage all of your wholesale purchasing on Bindo. To create a purchase order for a specific supplier, navigate to the Suppliers tab, click on the ellipsis, and select Generate Purchase Order. If you've set up your reorder trigger points, you can quickly filter to find all products that are due for a reorder. Do this on the Suppliers tab by clicking on Products and then adding the filter Products Below Reorder Quantity. There are no products requiring reorder for this supplier. Going to the next supplier, I see that one product is due for a reorder. Since there are only 6 units in my store, I'm going to automatically generate a PO for 30 units. Once saved, this PO will be listed on the Purchase Orders tab with a Created tag. And since everything looks good, I'll submit it via email. The tag will change from created to submitted. Once I receive the goods, I'll click mark as fulfilled. Inventory updates automatically to reflect the quantity fulfilled and a record of the purchase order is saved. To start managing your inventory, suppliers, and ordering on Bindo, sign up for your 30-day free trial today.